And a little bit of a fashion show taking place as the Bulls came down the tunnel earlier on. And now it's all about getting a win on their home court. Hi, everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Let's see the stat sheet here for Gary Payton. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. So the opening lineup for the Heat, we've got Haslam. D-Wade out there with Gary Payton. Then there's Morning, and it's Walker in at the small four. And for Chicago, we've got Longley. Pippen is out there with Rodman. Then there's Harper, and it's Jordan in at the two spot. Early in the season, there are only some surprises, Greg. It goes to show you how impossible the NBA season is to actually predict. And you never know what's going to happen, Kevin, until the game starts. Some teams look good and flop out of the gates. Other teams take a giant leap forward. Walker against Pippen. Pass to Rodman. It's stolen by Haslam. Now, here's Walker. Pass to Wade. He kicks it to Payton. Looks for Morning. Gets it to him. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Check out Morning inside where he operates with such confidence. This close in, he knows he's got the shot. Now, here's Jordan. Really played well against Orlando in his last outing. Overweight. A nice shot by Jordan. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. Really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. Here's Peyton following the basket by Michael Jordan. Here's Morning. Rodman grabs the rebound. Defense got a roll of the dice there, and I'm a little surprised it ended up going their way with the miss. And Gary Payton is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, they've got their eyes on him calling the foul right away. Outside, Longley. Here's Jordan. Excellent D from Wade. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And good that time. I like the effort from the defense, but at that close range, Wade was not going to be denied. Here's Jordan. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Hey, Greg, to touch on the Bulls for a moment, defense has been an emphasis for them. It has, and they went through several years playing subpar D, and it cost them. They began to turn things around a couple seasons ago, and it has served them well. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance. And both free throws good for Jordan. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Wade feeling it out a bit. Morning inside. Covered by Long. It's hauled in by the Bulls. 
They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. And no one has better natural scoring tools. But, but another thing that really sets MJ apart, the acute instincts he brings to the table. Wade against Jordan. Warning a screen on Jordan. And it's good for two. Wade's got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Here's Jordan after the made shot from Dwayne Wade. Long lead passes to Pippen. Walker with some nice deep. For Miami, they've gone three or five shooting the ball so far. Wade against Jordan. Wade misses. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Pippen with it. Wade picks him up. And there's Jordan. That's good on the assist by Pippen. Jordan's got his third bucket of the night. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. And here is Peyton playing Brooklyn. He was nearly unstoppable. Wade kicks to Walker. Morning is screen on Pippen. Four on the clock. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yeah, and Morning's just a beast on the glass, using that muscular frame to get into prime position there on the board. Now here's Jordan. He's got eight. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Wade. The pass to Peyton. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Now Harper. No scoring in this one. Rodman finds Jordan. Over Wade. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Wade on the wing. He's defended by Jordan. It's good. Wade is so crafty. He scores in so many different ways. That time with the soft floater. Here is Harper. Taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Walker against Pippen. Shot clock at six. Rejected by Walker. Wade against Harper. Wade outside. With the floater, it's deflected. Wade against Harper. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And the shot goes in. Jordan's got 12 points in the game. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Now here's Wade. He really was a guy who also stepped up in that win against the Nets. Pass to Peyton. Morning, a screen on Harper. Three-pointer, Peyton. On lead, grabs the miss. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Outside, Rodman. On lead against Morning. And it's Jordan to top the key. Over Wade. Jordan can't get it to go. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Pass to Wade. Walker with the screen for Wade. The three. Rodman grabs the rebound. 
Rodman's got four rebounds now tonight. Jordan dishes to Rodman. Pass to Pippen. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Longley, that falls. Nice feed that time from Scottie Pippen. And the Bulls lead by four. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Heat. This their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. And they lost the season series against this squad last year. So trying to bounce back here tonight. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. Jeffy, he's checked in for the Bulls. Heat also with the sub. O'Neal's checked in. against Peyton and there's the pass to Morning over Rodman Morning can't make it work Bulls leading by four here's Pippen Peyton gets the rebound well they'll be happy with that look even though it didn't fall tough to watch those miss I'm sure they'll convert the next chance now here's Peyton still scoreless nabbing another steal. I'll tell you what, that ball handlers are flat out scared around this guy. One of the best in history, he's almost fourth in steals all time. Passes it to Pippen. The tray. And it's Miami with the rebound. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the quarter. The feed to O'Neal. Shoots over Pippen, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Pippen. Over seven feet, big, quick, great hands. Shaq is a one-of-one one type of play. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. They've made a point to take what's given to them in the mid-range. The jumpers are falling for them so far. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. That free throw, no good. GA, the three-point shooting for Miami has been the story. Sometimes they run cold, like a lot of teams. Man, when they're hot, they are fun to watch. A couple years back, Kevin, they led the league in percentage from long distance. Last season, one of the worst in that category until the playoffs where they rediscovered that shooting touch. And he sinks the second. Chicago leading by three. Pass to Caffey. Kerr against Anderson. Here's Simpkins. 
over Shaq. Hits the outside fadeaway. And the Bulls lead by five. Here's Williams. Pass to Richards. Now Posey beyond the arc. Good on the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. There's the pass to Caffey. Kerr outside. Brown outside. Who coach pass to Brown. Kerr outside. Six to shoot. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. This one for three. It's rebounded by O'Neal. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Passes it to Richards. Here's Posey. And again, Miami with the triple. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Here's Brown. Still without a basket. Pass to Kerr. Here's Caffey, defended by Richards. On the wing, Kukoc. Back to Brown. Flying his work from deep. It's hauled in by the Heat. They're coming off that win against the Nets. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. And on top of probably having the better talent, they never let up. Great effort, great win. And stolen by Posey. Pass to Williams. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Brown, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. Now the pass to Kerr. Outside, Kukos kicks to Brown, passes it to Caffey. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. When a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Chicago making a switch here. Sally's checked in. Now here's Williams. He had 10 points in the win against Brooklyn. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. One twenty-one left in the first quarter. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. Richard, if there's an area where the Bulls have struggled, it's on the offensive end. Kev, you are always such a politician. Look, if you don't have a lot of three-point attempts, a lot of free throw attempts, or offensive rebounds, without those three things, it is impossible to hang in there offensively. Now, up to the floor, you're incredible. Take a brief moment to look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the league's feistiest defensive teams. The Heat in second. Number five, the Bulls. And forcing turnovers is a point of pride for both these teams. That's why their steal numbers have been so high.
We've got 118 left here in the first quarter. Brown the pass to Kukoc to the wing right side. Here's Caffey. Back to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. To stop the run. Not going to go that time. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. To the middle. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Nice play. And you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Bulls trail by seven. Pass to Caffey. Outside, Kukos. Brown feeling out of it. Pass to Caffey. Here's Sally. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. The Heat leading by five. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Outside, Williams. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Misses from short range. Kerr outside. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. It's the Heat ending the first quarter with a 13-4 run. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and what's your take guys on the hustle sticks for Miami the enthusiasm they've brought to their defense so far is something else going after shooters and really hustling to get their hands on shots and guys they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes Bushler is out there with Kerr then it's Sally then it's Kukoc, and it's Longley in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Now, here's Walker. He has yet to score. Traps in the tray. And Walker, uh, more than capable stretch for A big man with range for days, and how about the confidence? Here's Kukoc. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Ball's not loose, and so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Great. You look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. Here's Bushler outside Kukoc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Kuko just got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Miami leading by five. Williams looking over the floor. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. Here's Bushler. And the pass to Sally. Rebound by Doliak. Miami's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. 
Haslam can't get it to go. <laughs> and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. It's his first trip to the line. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Two shots. good from Hazlitt. Rodman is checked in for the Bulls. Jordan comes in for Bushler. And Miami making a change here. Off on that one. So he goes one for two at the line. Bulls trail by eight. 17 foot shot on the way. Gets it to go. That one good from Kerr. And good looking mid range Jay from Kerr. Terrific at taking advantage of that area of the floor. Wade passes to O'Neal. Let's it go from 11. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. The Bulls have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Longley can't get it to go. Kukoc with the steal. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. And so Peyton will bring it up for Miami. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. Uh, the strength of O'Neal uh, is otherworldly. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Rodman dishes to Jordan. Here's the floater, and that one is good. Jordan's got 14. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Miami leading by eight. Peyton with the ball. Hasn't made one yet. Wade, right side, over Jordan. Rodman grabs the rebound. Rodman's got eight rebounds in this game. And here's Jordan outside. And the Bulls another three. And the beauty of Jordan's pull-up. He can do it running full speed or laterally in either direction. Check the screen on Jordan. Over to the wing. Aslam the pass to O'Neal. O'Neal is doubled. From deep. Walker. That's in. Coming off the assist from O'Neal. Walker's got his third basket of the night. Bulls trail by eight. Pass to Rodman. High arcing shot. It's blocked by Shaq. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Outside, Peyton. Green by O'Neal to the inside. And the basket is good. Shaq's got the lead up to 10 now for Miami. They are just killing them on the interior. Chicago timeout, calls timeout. timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. Especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up.
so for the Bulls. Effie, he's checked in for Longley. Pippen comes in for Tony Kukoc. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. And then for Miami, Morning's checked in for Haslam. And Darrell Wright has subbed in for Walker. Here's Pippen. His last down in the 20 points. His agility makes Pippen so dangerous inside. He can create contact while also being able to get the shot off. First trip to the line for him here. Scotty Pippen. Free throw good from Pippen. Pippen, simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. And both free throws good for Pippen. A heat leading by eight. Wade outside. Knocked loose. Pippen with the steal. Outside Harper. Up top Jordan. And Gary Payton is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul here pretty early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. Here's Harper, still scoreless. Takes it from 10. No good from Jordan. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Peyton from outside. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Rodman's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Harper the pass to Caffey. Pops it up for Jordan. It's tipped. And stolen by Morning. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. The shot by Peyton, no good. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. To the left side wing. Harper kicks to Rodman. Here's Caffey, guarded by O'Neal. Caffey, the pass to Jordan. Just four to shoot. Here's Harper. And the Bulls with another miss. A Heat leading by eight. Peyton outside. Pass to right. He feeds it to Morning. And Morning throws it down. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Chicago's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. to Pippen and he banks in the lane Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off feels like no one can guard him down low pass to Morning outside Peyton right outside Jordan against Wade Morning kicks to Wade from downtown. Good on the three-point shot. Wade's got the lead up to 11 now for the Heat. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. The Bulls have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Chicago calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D.
the switch here. Anderson's checked in. And a moment now to look at the numbers for Peyton. He's putting up about 20 points per game, three and a half steals, and six assists. And the phrase stats don't lie absolutely <laughs> applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. Yeah, they rely on his production night in and night out. There are times when he absolutely carries them. Harper the pass to Caffey. Bulls moving the ball around. It's Pippen on the wing. Defended by Anderson. Just five to shoot. Shoots the three. Pippen can't hit. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Anderson against Pippen. Deflects the pass. And there's the pass to O'Neal. Peyton in the corner. Fires for three. It's all in by the Bulls. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Now the league does not like it when trade requests play out publicly. Commissioner Adam Silver says it needs to be a two-way street. Teams provide enormous guarantees to players, and the expectation is they'll meet their end of the bargain. He understands there will always be some trade requests, but he wants them to remain behind closed doors. Kevin? Good luck. <laughs> David, thanks. Chicago making a switch here. Browns checked in. Then for the Heat, Walker's checked in for Wright. Wade comes in for Anderson, and it's Williamson for Peyton. O'Neal sets the screen for Wade. That one falls. Wade's got five points now in the quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Passes to Phillips. Back to Pippen. Pass to Caffey. Williams against Brown. Over Williams. And the Bulls with another miss. The Heat leading by 13. Walker finds Williams. Back to Walker. And it's Wade in the corner. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And now a quick rundown of the leading free throw shooters at small forward this year. It's a pretty sure thing whenever one of them gets to the line. And you look at Pippen, fourth in the league, and as consistent as they come at the free throw line. And knowing what I do about the guys on that list, I can tell you they put a lot of long hours in the gym to get those percentages to where they are. As good as they are from the line, it forces an opposing defense to play with caution against them, and that's never a good thing. Sally kicks to Brown. They need this one, and that's good. Number two. Brown's got his first points of the game. And it's Williams with the ball for the Miami Heat. Pass to Anderson, and here is Posey. Now Williams. He's covered by Brown. Morning is screen on Brown. Williams with a clean look, and it's off from three-point range. Bulls trail by 11. Here's Phillips. He has yet to score. Bushler, the pass to Sally. Nifty move. And it's good on the layup. Sally's got it back down to within single digits for the Bulls. Great down for the defenders, and you can't ask for an easier bucket than that. Now the pass to Richards. He kicks it to Posey. Morning dishes to Posey. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, Posey, one of the few guys in NBA history to have played more than 82 games in a regular season. He actually played 83 one year after getting traded midseason. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A 
The free throw drops for Posey. So he makes both from the line. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. To the paint. Here's Sally. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Miami leading by nine. Williams passes to Doliak. Anderson with the ball. They might start using him a little bit more sparingly with three fouls already before the half. Anderson, he's checked in for Miami. And for the Heat, number nine, Derek Anderson. There's the screen. Williams passes to Richards. Sinks that one from the post. Richards got his second basket. Bulls trail by 11. Passes it to Bushley. Bulls moving the ball around. Round against Williams. Lock at six. Brown outside. Williams with the block. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at Miami. They're in the upper part of the conference records right now, in fifth place. And, of course, Chicago, a half game back. And when you look at Miami, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. But it's something we expected. This team was built to compete with anyone. Here's Doliak, still without a basket. And it's Jason Williams with the three. Williams has got the lead up to 14 now for the Heat. Oh, Chicago has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Pass to Sally. And here is Brown. He's guarded by Williams. Puts it up from 15. And the Bulls tack on two more. In the mid-range. Rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. Now here's Williams. He's got seven. Pass to Doliak. Now Richard. They grab their own miss. Williams gets the bucket. Williams has got nine. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. It's Brown on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Outside, Kukoc. Just five on the clock. No good on that one. And so it's the Miami Heat sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, how does the defense you're playing impact your offense? It just energizes us. We have an ignitable group, um, and, and that's how we play. So we have to uh, continue to stay the course uh, and try to keep them off the two-point line as best as we can. Yeah, those runouts get your guys going. Thanks a lot, Spo. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started.
Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And you know for that matchup with the Cavaliers, this is a chance to show what they could do. Beating the top team in the East obviously would be huge for them, but it won't be easy. They'll have to play at an elite level to do it. And now let's talk about our game at hand. What a first half for the Heat. What really blew open this game was their second unit, Shaq. Once those guys came in their game, it was lights out. And I see them going to the same substitution pattern in the second half. Why not? The way they're running over this game, they might clear the bench by the start of the fourth quarter. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. 